the 31st of October, Halloween. Everyone was waiting for the trick-or-treaters. However, this night would bring more than just zombie costumes. Mr. Peter was watching TV while waiting. Ding dong, someone rang the doorbell. It was a child wearing a vampire costume. Oh, nice costume, Mr. Peter congratulated the child. Thanks, the child said. Bye. Mr. Peter said bye after bye. handing out the candy. Um, he sat back down bye. and waited. Another bye. knock caught his attention. He walked bye. up to the door. It was a child in a very bloody, realistic zombie costume. The child groaned. It leaped forward and bit a chunk right out of Mr. Peter's shoulder. He screamed. The blood coated the walls, and his screams echoed through the neighborhood. Paige was laying on the couch asleep when the scream of a seven-year-old girl passed through the street. Paige was awake now. Kids of these days, he sighed. Blood splashed on the window so fast that the window shook. Paige sighed once more. I really hate to have to do this, but I have to watch the news. He turned on the news with the remote close by. This is Zoom, your daily news in the city of Savannah. The reporter says, Today there are zombie creatures in our city. They are terrorizing everyone and causing havoc. We have footage of some of these infected. A video began to play of a zombie with a torn mouth spitting acid at someone off camera. Another video played of one with a long tongue, bubbles on its left half, and smoke coming out of its body. It grabbed the cameraman with its tongue and pulled them close, causing them to drop the camera. The third and final video showed an infected on sitting on top of a building while wearing a blue hood stained with blood. The, the infected leaped at the camera person, and the video cut out. And that's it for now, folks, the repeater said the reporter said once more, shaking as gunshots yelling and growling occurred off camera. The reporter took out a gun and proceeded to fire. A flaming zombie crashed through the window and leaped towards the cameraman. Then the feet cut to static. Gage now noticed that Peanut was standing next to the TV. Well, we're screwed, Peanut said. Gage looked at him angrily. If we can make it to the airport in time, we can evacuate before all the planes leave, Gage explained. I have a pilot's license, a pilot's license, Peanut said while holding out his hand. Gage looked at him with a strange expression. You're twelve, he said. So are you, Peanut said. Gage sighed and closed his eyes. He opened them again, saying, Anyway, if we get there in time, we can get to safety. Grab a weapon. Gage stood up and threw the couch cushion he was sitting on at the wall. Shotguns, bombs, a baseball bat, an axe, pistols, rounds of ammo, a flamethrower, a katana, and a handful of grenades were waiting. Peanut's eyes got wide and he looked at Gage. Why is that on our couch? Peanut asked. Gage responded with, What if someone broke in? Or an apocalypse happened? Like right now? Peanut looked down, crossed his arms, and put his finger on his chin. Yeah, I guess you're right, he said. The infected heard strange noises. Talking. He looked through a window and saw two males about twelve years old. He limped toward the window he limped toward the window, pressed his hands against it, causing it to cave in and shatter. Both of them looked surprised at the window, one grabbing a shotgun. A flaming zombie burst through the window and Gage grabbed a shotgun. The zombie was the zombie combusted, lighting the walls on fire. Gage was really angry about this and shouted, No one burns my house down! He shot the zombie and killed it. Peanut walked over to Gage and said, Our house! And proceeded to sing Russia's national anthem. Gage facepalmed and walked over to the door. A smoking zombie with a long tongue, like on the news, was waiting in the room. It saw them with their weapons and got angry shot out its tongue and grabbed Gage's neck to be continued. The end.